welcome back everybody to another week of ballet in lockdown. I hope you're all keeping well. Today we are going to be working on finishing our Moon River dance that we started many weeks ago in class. I'm going to teach you the final and end section of the dance today. If you want to go back and have a look at any of the other videos with the whole dance, please do so. They're all broken down into each section so you can go away and put it together and I'll be uploading a separate video just with the whole dance together so you can dance along at home as well. So let's get started with a quick warm up just to get our bodies moving. We're going to take a nice pour de bras as well just to work those arms a little bit and then we're going to get on with the sequence. So with our feet in parallel, just hip width apart, making sure that pelvis is tucked underneath us so our tailbone is heading straight down to the floor. Really open up that chest as well. Keep those shoulders nice and loose for this one and the neck as well so don't clench up and tense your shoulder muscles there. And we're going to take some little uh, bounces and shoulder rolls just to get ourselves warmed up, working in first and second as well. So, shut those arms swing. Shoulder rolls. One, two, bring those arms all the way around. Take a little bend. Lift the heels. Two, three, four. And take some bounces. Just let those arms swing. Small little roll down. Back up. Open out in front. since we've done one of these and it's just really nice to use those arms and upper body a little bit and really feel the movement so it will really help with our dance steps as well. So feet in first position, okay, pulling up nice and tall, all right, staying strong in that core. We'll take some lovely arm positions and we'll do a few forward pour de bras just to really help stretch out the backs of those legs a little bit as well. And let's go. Okay, so bring those arms to fur, to bra bar, sorry. Take a little breath. And again. Bring that right arm up. Change. 
back up. a little bit now so our, our shoulders now should be all ready to carry um, the frame as we do our lovely dancing now. So I'm going to teach you the final section to our moon river dance. It's split into various different sections um, which have been taught across different videos. So as I said at the start if you want to go back and recap any of those you can and I will be putting another video out with the whole dance together so you can see it all pieced together with those sections. So we're going to be learning um, the last section, which is actually stealing a little bit from the sequence we did last week. So if you tuned in uh, for last week's video, you'll recognise quite a lot of these steps. And again, if you want to go back to last week for the breakdown of the sort of technical side of these steps, you can do. Um, and we're going to put them in our sequence today. So make sure you have enough room to travel slightly forward. I'm going to be travelling on the diagonal, mostly because of space. If you've got enough room to travel straight forward, then please do, or you can go slightly to the diagonal as well. It just really helps with the, um, with the opening and sort of the facing as well, which is quite nice. So, right foot behind. So either in fifth or in third position, it's up to you. Those hips are square to the front, okay? So we're going to take a chasse passe over the top and we're going to take it slightly on the diagonal or straight forwards. So our back foot is going to come around the top, down into a chasse and extend. So lifting that right heel off, so bring the foot around to the front, place it down in fifth or third position again. Slide along the floor. Again, like I mentioned in the other video, um, think about how far you're taking that uh, step. You don't want to make it too long, so you have to drag the foot in behind, or too short, which you have to sort of push back. So play around with the distance you take that chassis. Extend that left foot away, and then close. And as we close, we're going to shift our position back to face the front. Okay, so it's easier when we take it round to the other side. So you don't have to twist too far 
the other direction. So, with the arms, we're going to add to that, because remember it's a really lovely piece of music and uh, it's quite expressive as well, so we can really use our arms for this. So, arms bra bar, okay, so nice and rounded, keep the shoulders away from the ears so our necks are nice and long, and we bring the right foot over, chasse, bring those arms to first, extend, okay, now, at uh, the same foot as um, the same arm as leg is going to reach back. So our right arm is going to lift up and we're making this fourth crossed position here with the arms. We're going to keep circling the arm and we're going to open out this right shoulder, look at the arm, use the head and bring it back round. So we're drawing a nice big circle with the right arm. And if you want to, you can take a bit more of a high release Okay, so you start to use more of the chest as well. For this, it's up to you. So if you want to take a little bit further, you can. Take more of a back bend. And open round and back through. Close on fast. And as we do, we just open the arms and bring them down. We repeat going the other way. So this time our left foot comes over the top, place it down, chasse to the diagonal, extend that right foot. Our left arm this time opens out, draws that circle round, back up and close. Okay, so that is the first little bit. From there, we're going to take some PK steps, which again we practiced last week. So we release the back foot. So our right foot comes in to the left ankle. So if I turn around and show you, okay, it's just placed behind the foot, keeping the knee open to the side, okay, because we want to keep the turn out in the legs. We don't want to let that knee creep in, all right? So then we step onto that right foot, onto the demi point. As we do, we bring up our left foot to the knee. And again, you can do this on flat feet, like I said in the previous video, if just to practice if you want to, um, or you can go up on Demi. So I'm actually going to show you from facing away so you can see what my feet are doing. So you've got your right foot behind, step onto it, up, up, and then close in front. You don't jump down, that's just me losing my balance. So okay, so again, we go up, up, down. And when you bring your, knee, uh, your foot up, you're just cupping the knee with the foot. Knee out to the side as before, so we've got a nice open turn out here. If it's a little bit tricky to get those feet up to the knee, just bring them down a little bit more, maybe just above the ankle until you're ready to bring it up a bit higher. So just play around with it and do what you can um, to your own ability. So let's do that again. With the arms, we're going to take them up to fifth each time. So as we go up, our arms go up as well. And I think that really helps with the momentum of the whole movement. So let's try it. We go up, up, down. Then we're going to go back the other way. So this time our right foot, sorry, our left foot lifts and we go up, up, down. So we're back where we started. Let's put that together with the music so far, just those two sections, and then we'll do the next thing. Okay, so our right foot behind, ready for those chasse passes. So if you want to uh, just bring them down to bra bar, you can. If you can fit it in, bring them all the way around. So from there, we've just done our PK steps. We're going to take a little balané with the left foot. So I'm just going to show you facing the side so you can see. So all we're doing with this front foot is we're extending it slightly off the floor, bringing the foot to the knee, 
and back again. So we're doing a little up, in, out, keeping the turn out. One, two, three. All right, and as we do that, we're gonna do a hop with the right foot. So we're gonna go hop, in, out. So it's all one movement. So as we lift the leg, we do a, a hop on the right. And up, out. Step onto it, take a little circle round just to reposition yourself because we're going to repeat those chasse passes. So just to take yourself back into your original position. And you can use the arms here, you can run on demi point, you can run on flat feet, it's up to you. Yeah, you can take the arms round like that, you can take them up and open, anything you want. So it's a little bit of freestyle moment there just to bring us back into the space. Um, a bit easier for the next section. Yeah? So let's do that again with the music. We're going to repeat from our chasse passes. We're going to do those PK steps and then we're going to stop the next time because there's something else we're going to add in just before the ballonet. All right, so let's just do what we've done so far twice through and then I'll teach you the final bit. Right foot behind. So before we do that second ballonet, we've just finished our PK steps the second time, we've got our left foot in front. So it's, we're repeating the same pattern as we did before. We're going to take a releve in fifth, we snatch those toes up, plie and snatch up, lower down. Then we take the feet out into an echappe path, uh, an echappe releve. Um, to second, so we shoot those legs out along the floor with lots and lots of power, out and then bring them in, swap the feet over. So again, don't worry too much if you forget to swap them over, as long as your final one that you do, you have the, the, sorry, the left foot in front, ready to repeat that ballonet. And we repeat that sequence four times. So we go fifth, down, second, close. Second time, up, down, open, close. Third time, up and out. Fourth time, up and out. All right, so again, you've got your le uh, left foot in front, ready to repeat that ballonet. Arms on the releves, we take them forwards when we go to fifth, second when we go to second. So again, our arms are just mimicking what those feet are doing. If you want to, and you've got time to, take them up to second and out if you want. I just personally find it easier to bring them to first and out. Yeah, just making that position and pattern with the arms. But again, it is up to you what you would like to do at home. So let's do that all together, all right? Keeping the um, weight and energy underneath us so we're not going to topple and lose our balance. So try and keep your core nice and strong. Really squeeze those leg muscles, okay? So use that sort of snatching action to help hold you. Squeeze those legs together. And then when we go out to the side again, really squeeze and hold on to those glutes so we keep the power and keep the strength in those moves. So let's do our elevators. Ready? And one, two, three, one, two. Out, forward, out. Last time. There. 
Okay, so four times through, it does go slightly over the music because it's in three, four time, but it does still fit um, and we get to finish with that left foot in front. We're ready to repeat our ballet one more time and up and out, around again. This time, don't worry too much about going right to the back because we're just finishing in the centre with our final pose. So, we're going to take a développé with our right leg, so the leg that's behind, again finishing the same way that we started this section, right foot behind. We're going to start to draw the right leg at the back of the left leg, oh, just find my balance, bring it up, bring it out to the knee and then extend backwards out here. Okay, so we take it into an arabesque. Let's try it again. With the arms, we bring it up and then we open out there. If you want to keep it on the floor, you can. You can open it down and point and hold. If you want to take it nice and high, you can. All right, so again, the options are there. And again, we draw up, lift, 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 lift and open, extend, slight hold here, bringing it down, close behind. Just as we close, we're going to bring that right leg over the top into one more chasse passe. So don't put the weight back onto that right foot as you close. Almost bring it through that position and then take it around, place it in front. Chasse forwards. Now, we finish with the left leg extended behind. If you want to, you can bring it into more of a classical pose so the knees are together, okay? And if you want to, you can just take those toes, just a little bit more stability if you want to. All right, so you've got a couple of different um, ways to finish. We circle our right arm first, bring it around. As we send it back, we bring the left arm up to make a diagonal line looking at those left fingertips and that is our ending position all right so make sure it's comfortable for you to hold all right don't do anything that's going to be a bit painful to hold for too long all right just make it nice and graceful as well so after that développé we chasse passe over chasse forwards right arm lifts circle round almost like we're windmilling the arms and look all right keeping nice and long here, open in the chest, slight twist, okay, because we've got one leg behind and we're twisting the opposite way, but lifting up nice and tall. And there we have it. That is our dance. All right, so we're going to do that final section with the music now. And then, as I said, keep your eyes open for the full dance um, with all those sections put together. Right foot behind. Enjoy dancing it, keep those arms nice and soft. And
well done for your wonderful dancing. I'm sure you did today. Um, I'm sure it's looking really, really nice. If you've got any videos or pictures of you dancing that you'd like to send in, I'm sure there'll be a few panic faces, um, but please don't worry. It'd be really nice to see how you guys are getting on at home or if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask me, please do not hesitate to get in touch. We're going to take a quick stretch and a cool down here. If you want to grab your mats or anything, you can do just to soften the floor, make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, but we're just going to stretch out a little bit um, and then we will leave it there for today. So find yourself a space, everyone. All right, feet in parallel then, everybody. Just float those arms to the side. Drop the shoulders. And then keeping those arms up. Look at the fingertips. So drop in the chin, top of the head leading, down we go. After a few breaths here, just bend those knees and rolling back up. Take 
take a nice big breath in, reaching up to the ceiling. And as we let the breath go, drop those arms. And give yourselves a big breath. everybody well done for joining in today I hope you enjoyed having a nice little dance um, as I said I will be posting a video of the whole Moon River dance with all the sections together so please keep an eye out for that one um, and you can put piece all those sections together yourselves and we've got a whole fantastic dance to do um, next week we are going to be doing some more stuff at the bar so you'll need your chairs again for next session I'm just going to be focusing a little bit on fitness um, and your technique and then we'll be following on the same sort of structure with different sequences and maybe starting a new routine as well over the next few weeks. Thank you so much to everybody that has donated and kept in touch. Please keep in touch with your messages. I love hearing from you guys. Um, it's, it's such a shame that I can't see you in person. Um, so please keep in touch via text or email. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had a good week and I'll see you next time.